All right, so <clears throat> I was trying to come up with a replacement for my little uh, generator that went down the tubes, and uh, that's what we use to run our freezer in the event we kill something instead of buying a bunch of uh, um, ice and dry ice and stuff. We just take a little chest freezer with us, and you know, it works really, really well. Uh, so instead of buying another generator um I, w I just was like well i'll figure out something else and i went down the youtube rabbit hole stumbled on this this is the miller tech inverter it's a thousand watt continuous 2000 watt surge i believe that's what the specs are on it this particular model will run on dewalt or milwaukee batteries which just so happens is what i've got and then there's another model that will run on uh, Makita batteries and then they've got a smaller version of this too so uh, three five amp hour batteries DeWalt batteries um, fully charged ran a seven cubic foot freezer that has a, about an amp and a half draw uh, ran it just under six hours uh, which is I guess pretty good you know not nearly as good as one of those generators but these are dead quiet um, it would only serve as a redundancy, not something you could, you know, run standalone all the time, I think. It just is a backup source of power. Um, they aren't cheap. This, just no batteries. So you basically got to take into account, like, you've already either got Milwaukee or you already have uh, DeWalt. Or Makita if you get the other one. The inverter alone was $300. Um... I can't remember what website I got it off of. It shipped direct from Miller Tech, and I think they're like a Mennonite com company or something. I'm not really sure. Um, but it seems well built and everything. Uh, I'm, you know, like six hours. I was really hoping for 10 hours with three fives, but that wasn't meant to be. Um, battery is warm. Um, the battery ain't going down the tubes. Uh, so anyway, it, it, it ran a seven cubic foot freezer for about six hours. It will run, so I've got a fan that draws about an amp and a half, and then my DeWalt sander, which is six amps wide open, and it runs it just fine. Um, now, how long will it run that much draw? I have no idea. Um, I just haven't had enough time to really go down, the, go down that hardcore. So, so there's the fan on high. You can see that we're putting out 121 volts, and this is a pure sine wave inverter, so you can run your computers and things like that on it, and it won't hurt them. Um, according to what they say, it's clean energy, uh, clean power. So 19.6 and the fully charged rate of these batteries is about 20.2. So that's with a amp and a half draw. And then we've got our um, the wall. So that's wide open at six amps plus an amp and a half so call it seven and a half amps now it's not going to run forever on that um, but it handled it just fine and uh, you figure you could probably run a refrigerator freezer combo with it um, if you needed it uh, to just keep your meat or your food from spoiling probably a pretty good way to go uh, other than that I mean I'm not like ultra crazy about it, but it is what it is now. I've got it. Um, I guess I could send it back, but I kind of need it now because we're leaving tomorrow. Um, so I'm just going to hang on to it. It'll be a it'll be a good means of backup power. Um, you know, I, the one thing I'm kind of disappointed in. There's no USBs. Everything's USB now. There's no USBs. Um, now I've got a Milwaukee battery here, so it's so the the fan is wrong. We'll just test it with just the fan. So you can take a battery off, 
take a battery off. It'll run on one battery. We're going to replace that one. We're going to put this one. And we're going to take these two off. So it, it's pretty good. It, it, you know, it runs pretty well. Fan's still running. So I can only assume that everything would be A-O-T, but we, um, this battery's got me a little nervous, so if I'm totally honest. It's kind of warm and it shouldn't be. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, it, it is what it is. It's not anything that's going to get you, uh, you're not going to be able to run your house on it or anything like that, but I think being that we know it'll run a few amps, no problem. Uh, if you if you had a bunch of batteries and you need to say keep your stuff from spoil your food from spoiling, you'd probably be okay for a few hours, maybe even a day if you were lucky. Uh, you had a lot of batteries. Um, like I said, it ran an amp and a half for six hours on three fives. Uh, you know, um, take it for what it what it is or what what it's, what it's worth. Um, it's not gonna last you forever. Honestly, I think I'd have been way better off buying something like one of those Jackery systems. But I didn't. I really wanted to try this. I tried it. A little disappointed. It's not in the form or function of the, what it's doing. It's the fact that I thought the batteries would last. I thought it would be better. It would last longer and it just doesn't. Um, I think if you need something that's going to be, that needs to be quiet and last a good while uh, those power stations are definitely the way to go um, you know you don't have to rely on you can just leave it plugged in and it'll charge it'll kind of trickle charge itself and I, at least i'm thinking i might be talking out of my butt but um and then when you need it it's already fully charged whereas these you've got to hope that you were responsible enough to keep all your batteries charged which i'm pretty good about it uh, and then obviously, you know, like this thing's kind of warm, it's kind of making me nervous. Um, that uh, your batteries are in good, good working order and all that kind of stuff. So you, for three hundred dollars plus all the batteries, you know, you got to hope that you got a bunch of batteries like I do. Um, I make my living with these batteries, so you know, the average person probably isn't going to have a ton of batteries laying around. At least that it's going to, you know get them what they what they need I think one of those power stations would probably be better um, I mean essentially that's what this is but there's too many it's kind of too many moving parts for lack of a better term um, I think this power station is better money spent in the long run and you can hook them up to solar if you need to and there's there's a whole there's a whole uh, host of uses and ways to charge that to charge this thing whereas this is not this isn't so I've got it now so it'll it'll do for now um, I guess the one upside to it and I don't know I'm pretty sure the power stations are too is that they you get a pure sine wave out of those too so you, you can charge laptops and whatever off the off of those um, so yeah I don't think there's really much of an advantage to this to be honest with you um, it seems good quality I mean I'm not knocking it at all I just I just think it's too expensive for what you get and for those power stations now, what you get out of them is tremendous for the, for the money spent. So that's just my opinion. Um, but it does work. You know, there's no question it works. So anyway, that's it. Have a good one. That's the Miller Tech um, DeWalt slash Milwaukee inverter. So yeah, thanks.